Mm, mm, mm. We should probably turn it this way so that people want to. You're going live on Willow Blend's page? Yeah. Okay. So we're going live two different places. Um, I'm going to come from this direction, and then Kyle is going to be going from the opposite direction. Joanna's on. Hey, Joanna. Um, and Kyle. We're starting in a moment. I'm going to let some people get on here. Yeah, Kyle's going to be doing it over on the Willow Blend. Uh, what's the page, babe? It's at F45. At F45. Underscore. Uh huh. Willow Glen East, okay. or F45 underscore training, sorry. Oh, okay. Hi, everyone. Um, training. One second, everyone, we'll get started. Is it F45 underscore training underscore? Underscore okay. Willow Glen East. Cool. Hopefully. I think that's what it is. Yeah, I can't. It's in, I have it linked in, what is it? It's also linked in your page. So if they yeah. just click on that post, they're fine. I'm going to be filming from this direction, Kyle's going to be filming from that direction. This is like a point of view video. Yep. Not the kind that I wish All I was right. making. People will right. join in. We're going to go ahead and get started. May not see the timer super well, but we'll get it in. We'll get it worked on. All right, so what we're going to be doing, let me see, get, get in both camera angles. What we're going to be doing today is a three pod series, all right? So if you have your dumbbells and you have your kettlebell, great. If you don't, as we're going, you're going to be able to do most of these uh, as a body weight movement, okay? I'll also say some alternatives if you have, you know, a jug of water or something at home, that'll work too. But what it's going to look like today is we're going to be doing three different tri-sets. So that means three different movements in each pod, three pods through. So there's going to be nine different stations today. We're going to cycle through them at two different varieties of time. So the first two sets at each pod, as you switch with your partners, so you're going to get through two uh, switching or just going down the line essentially in order. But you're gonna hit the first series is gonna be 60 seconds of exercise, 20 seconds of work, two times through each super or each tricep. So you're just gonna cycle through, make sure you hit all three at the 60 20. We're gonna do that for all three pods. We'll get a little water break in the middle. And then once we start the second series, same thing, we're gonna follow the same order of exercises, but now it's gonna drop down 40 20. So in that first set, you may want to either start, come out of the gate hard, and then use that second series to kind of pace yourself or come out a little lighter and then turn up the heat at the end and really burn it, okay? So let's go ahead and stand up. We're gonna start ourselves off with a nice little warm up. Uh, and again, these are on since we're on the iPhone. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to answer any questions or anything for this series. But please send any questions but that you, you have to exactly. either Kyle's uh, DMs yes. or you can send them to my yeah. DMs. Send it to either the F45 page that you're watching from or from my actual Instagram. You can DM me any questions, things like that. Uh, comments, concerns, or anything like that. I see a lot of high fives. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to start. Send us some hearts if you're excited. We're Send just, us some hearts. We're just going to start with some butt kickbacks. So in place, we're just going to start. Oh, God. I know. Yeah, nice and quick. God. We're getting right into it. We're going to sit here for 15 or so seconds. God, God, why have you done this? I, like, can't do these things. My hair is so poofy. Lots of hair. Don't care. Almost there. All right, now we're going to go upside on the front, okay? So we're running in place now. No! Come on. Whoa. I'm really bad at this. I'm not very athletic. Look at these legs. Look at them. They're very long. Almost there. A few more. And good. Go to relax. We're going to go into world's greatest now, okay? So what we're going to do on this, I'm going to go this way. I'm going to be right here. So we're gonna go into a reverse lunge, hand on the floor. We're reaching inside that knee. I'm gonna rotate up, open up the chest towards the... Can I do a reverse? Yep, you can do it reversed as well. And we're gonna go other side. So we're going into a reverse lunge, elbow comes between inside the knee, and then open up. Reach towards that ceiling, make sure the head's following the hand. Good, let's do that one more time. Reverse that lunge, get that leg inside, or that elbow inside. Open up that chest and bring it back down. Last one. Reaching that elbow inside. Open up that chest. And this isn't the workout, everybody. This is just the warm up. All right, so let's go ahead and go into single leg RDLs to warm up those hamstrings. Give yourself a little bit of space. We're going to be reaching 
taking one leg, bringing it up. As it comes up, our chest comes down. Think about those birds that dip their head in the water that you see at people's desks. or those switch legs? If you want to. I normally do about five each side and then I'm gonna switch. I like to stay one side to work on that oh. ankle stabilization. Good, and we're gonna switch. You were gonna switch places, weren't you? <laughs> you guys, I'm very bad at this. So today you're gonna to see Kyle do movements like beautifully. Maybe. And then you're gonna see like a normal human do movements. Good, let's just get some quick movements in the arms here. We're just gonna go cross body, arm swings. Can we hug ourselves? We can hug ourselves. Since we haven't had any like affection from any, anyone. Any sort of per, in, uh, just, you know, uh, connection yeah. with other humans. Hope everyone's quarantine is going okay. Everyone's staying safe. All right, jumping jacks to finish it off. You can mix these up. I sometimes do some cross body steps. And then once we get started, remember it's gonna be 60 seconds of work. 20 seconds of rest. We're going through each of our triceps two times. All right, I'm gonna open up the window. Open up the window, get us some fresh air. All right, so once I hit that timer, we've got three seconds to get ready. The first, remember the first try series. Oh, I didn't even explain the exercise, so let's go ahead and start with that really quickly. We're warmed up now. Wait, what am I supposed to do? You're just hanging out. You can do it with me, just without the weight. Show the non weighted variation. Okay? okay, so starting off, we're gonna be going kettlebell, squat, and then reverse lunge, okay? So with her, she's just gonna be going non-weighted to show if you don't have the kettlebell, that's what we're doing. But all we're doing is make sure you give yourself some space. We're gonna be taking our kettlebell up into a goblet position, meaning we're holding it here, or by the handles. Okay, show both cameras. Let me, let me show this first. All right, so we're gonna go into our squat, and then we're going into reverse lunges. Reverse lunges there. Go ahead and show without weight. Okay, I'll go this way. So we're just going body weight here. Squat, right into that reverse lunge. Good. Second movement here. It's gonna be dumbbell floor presses. You can replace this with body weight push-ups, okay? So just going into your push-up position. We're just gonna be laying on the floor here. Nice and straight. If you want your feet up, that's fine. If you want to be flat, that's okay too. We're just making sure you're activating the core, squeezing the shoulder blades to the ground, Elbows come down at an angle, we pause, and we press right back together. So you notice I'm not just dropping my arms, you wanna control it down, pause, elbows all the way down, bring that on the up. Good, third movement here is going to be alternating hand to foot reach. She's nice and lengthy, so what we're gonna be doing here is she's gonna bring up one side at a time, reaching with that hand to the toe, and then she's switching. Reaching that hand to the toe, good. We're just going to be alternating for the duration. This doesn't require weight, so you'll be able to do it if you don't have the dumbbells or kettlebell. Good, so that's the first series we're going to be going through two times. All right, we're going to go through that, hitting each exercise twice. Six total sets on that one. Why don't we just start it, and then we'll go through And we'll just go through, yeah, just follow along. It's going to take a really long time to demonstrate, so we'll just talk about the movements as we get going. So let's go ahead and start the timer. We got 60 seconds. I'll start at station one. You start at station two, and we're just cycling through. Okay? Oh. Yep, so that we'll do And then we'll do alternating hand foot together? No. We're just going to cycle. I oh, start at one, finish all three. You start at two, finish oh, at one. Oh, I get yep. it. I, so get it I get it. I get it. I get it. Thank you. All right. You're good to lay whichever direction you want. All right, so make sure you get ready. We're going in three seconds. Here we go. And here we go. So we're squatting right into that reverse lunge. So you notice here, I'm keeping my chest nice and tall, I'm not letting myself fold forward too much. My width is just enough to let my hips sink down without having to drive my knees too far forward, out over the toes, sitting my hips back, nice and controlled. And again, if you want to, holding your kettlebell in the bottoms up position, that's how I prefer it. A little bit easier this way. You see, she's just doing her presses. Where should your knee be, Kyle? My what? Where should your knee be? Should you be touching your knee to the ground for those? No. Or, no. No, as we're lunging, don't bang your knee to the floor. That's not necessary. 
but low enough that we're still making Four, sure we're getting quad three, and hamstring two. activation and not just overloading that hamstring. Good. Actually, you take these. So I'll take those. And you're going into core. So you're just following the line. You could either be following me or staying on pace with her. Yep. And here we go. On these, I'm not taking my elbows really high up. We don't want to get the shoulders in danger. I'm taking them about a 45 degree angle off the body. And then bringing them back close together at the top. Give them a little kiss. And we're right back down. Depending on the weight of your dumbbells, you'd be doing more reps at a more rapid pace. Or if they're heavier, slow it down and pace it. Or you could be doing uh, push-ups, you said. Or right? you could be doing bodyweight push-ups. Assisted on the knees, normal, incline, a lot of variations of push-ups you could work with. God, my legs are so long. I'm watching them in the video. I'm almost there, last five seconds. Good. And if for some odd reason you're unable to get through the whole workout, we'll save this. It'll be posted for you guys to do tomorrow or finish it up later on. Whatever's easiest for you. I'm going to hold the kettlebell like this. Yeah, she's holding it on the side. Three, two, one, and here we go. Ooh, I, I'm trying to like find the best direction for this, but I guess it's going to be You go right next to me, yeah. I can even rotate and give you more space. It's okay. Remember, these first ones are long sets. 60 seconds of exercise. When you're not really given much break between the reps, it's real tough. So it's important to breathe and to pace it. seconds. Our dogs are really trying hard to get out from the back of the house. And good. So that finishes up lap one. Remember we're doing two laps of that same thing. We're doing one more lap Hi guys. of that same thing before we switch. Here you go. You got four presses. And here we go. Back to that first exercise you did in your tripod. Maybe you can back up a little bit. My people want to see your butt too. If at any point you get too tired and you need to dock, ditch the weight, it's totally fine, whatever you see appropriate. Slow down your breathing a little bit. Breathe Try to breathe through your nose. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Woo! Still got 15 seconds. This is rough, baby. This is only the first pod. It's gonna be rough for these first two sets at each at each pod. The second one drops down to that 40-20. It gets a lot easier. Not a lot easier, but more calm. Guys, this sucks, I'm gonna tell you. No. It's fun, it's a distraction. Alright, here we go. Make sure you're following along with one of us. If you need to pause between reps. That's fine, especially on the weighted ones. A weighted movement is very good for us. So pausing at the floor, pressing back up. Kyle, what do you recommend for people that are like, you know what, this movement's a little hard for me right now. 
On that one right there, I would say just tucking the knees, holding onto the back of the neck to support the head, and just going into standard crunches, but taking that opposite elbow to that opposite knee. Yeah. So, so still working that cross what body. What I'm saying is actually maybe just uh, working to the knee. Or hold this. the knee static. They can stay right. together off the floor. But try Almost to get there. that straight leg if you can. Really straighten it out. Lift that high back off the ground. Good. So we're one exercise away from being done with that first set of three, two rounds through. Alrighty. See if our cat knocks out for the camera anytime soon. All right, and here we go. You're gonna notice some exercises feel a bit more fatigued. For me, core movements for this much time are hard because there's less rest between movements. For me, it's this one. series of movements we still are on the same rest time so just follow along it's gonna be kettlebell bent over rows we have dumbbell hip thrust and then planks so the last one's pretty easy first one just get a look at what we're doing and follow along with us there we go so kettlebell bent over row I'm gonna hold on I'm just gonna split mine up at the 30 second mark you can feel free to alternate per rep, but I'm just gonna keep it on one side, really fatigue out one side at a time. You notice I'm keeping my low back nice and flat. We don't wanna be bent over, rounded point of the chest, we wanna be- But it's called a bent over row. Sticking our butt back, activating the core, pulling up into my pocket, and I'm switching sides. Pulling up into that pocket, keeping the elbow close to the body. It's gonna allow us to really focus on that mid to lower lat region, not pulling up into that shoulder and shrugging those traps. With the excess sitting, most of us have probably been doing during this quarantine, we really want to focus on activating that posterior chain in most of these movements. Last five seconds. And good job. So you got your plank. You're good right there. Um, I'm not going to be able to do a plank for a minute. Just do it as long as you can, save at home, hold as long as you can, then drop down, breathe for a moment. Not going to be able to do it. And here we go. So see over here, I'm holding my dumbbell on my hips. I have the couch in my back, pressing up, squeezing through the glutes. My core is activated throughout, sinking my hips all the way back down, almost to the floor. I have my knees about a foot and a half apart. I don't want them too close because I want to really be able to activate that medial glute. Halfway there. Twenty seconds. Gatsby, you're gonna knock the camera over, buddy. Gatsby. Dodged the bullet there. Last ten. Look at that. You said you weren't going to be able to hold it. It's actually easier than I thought. And good. Okay. So you're on the bent over rows. How are you doing, guys? Either the kettlebell or the dumbbell for you. Same for anybody. doesn't matter on the weight. If you don't have weight, you could do bent over rows. Just squeezing those lats back. I'm just gonna do five at a time. Or you can get a soup can or something from the kitchen with some weight. 
gallon of water has a good handle on it, you can use that. On this plank, we're making sure our hips are slightly high, squeezing those glutes, activating the abs. We don't want to hang. So if your butt's high but you're drooping, that means we're not squeezing those glutes. Come over here and I have my elbow directly under my shoulders. Oh yeah, the planks go that fast. Usually everyone in class is complaining during the abs at the end, the planks. It's like time slows down. But if you're talking, if you're thinking about other things, and good. It's one round down, one more to go of these three. Right here, so you guys can see, get a little better view of her in case you weren't able to see me super well. Here we go. Again, the weight hangs directly under my shoulder. My hips are pressed back. I'm not bent over over my toes. I'm sinking into my heels. Hips are pressed back, back behind me. That allows me to get that hinge position without feeling like I'm falling forward. Job, halfway there. I'm gonna switch hands here. In this case, it's okay to have your hand on the knee if you need to. I like to practice not doing it because I don't want that support. I want to work on activating my core on its own, holding position without supporting myself up. So I keep my hand right on my abs. Make sure I'm not softening up. Don't be soft. Don't be soft. No, I like soft boys. Three, two, and good. Plank. Oh, yeah. I'm going to turn you this way, actually. And we go. There we go. I'm going to go here this time. Okay. You're good. Hi, guys. And here we go. Same thing goes here. If you don't have a dumbbell on these, it's totally fine to just use body weight. You can turn it into single leg. Just center that leg, keep the other one kicked out. One of my favorite things to do during planks are... Rolling up on the toes. That's going to get you more shoulder activation. It's going to turn it into a bit of an upper body movement. Past the halfway point. Give me some hearts if you hate planks. They're working out. Don't reach for that phone. You should be working out. You don't have time to, to mm -hmm. type up hearts. Unless it's directly underneath you. That's a different question. Ten. Yep, almost Six. there. Six. Three, two, one. Good. 20 seconds of rest. You can see here, don't mind the rounds it's showing left. I didn't add the right amount of rounds in. Be on planks this time. Okay. And here we go. So again, stack those elbows right under the shoulder. You can see my hips a bit more. I'm a little higher. I'm not trying to get directly to flat because I start to lose tension in the glutes. I start to feel a bit more work in my low back. Whereas here, you also will notice if I'm lower, my shoulders start to outreach over my elbows. We want to push back so that we stack those two over one another. And I'm squeezing those glutes. My abs are tight. Okay, switching. Focusing on my breathing. I've really slapped off everyone the last couple weeks outside of filming the home workouts, but those are a bit shorter. Today's it's going to be over that 35 minute mark or in between 30 to 35 minutes long. Good job. Keep it up. Just hang in there. Whatever movement you're doing, keep going. I tried the 30 seconds. This time, and I put my hand on my knee. It's tough. All right. Third, pod, kettlebell swings, dumbbell alternating single arm overhead yep. press and Russian twist. Yeah. 
So just again, follow along. We're gonna start in just a moment. I'm gonna start on the swings. I'm gonna start on the overhead, overhead press. press. All right. Gosh. And I'm gonna start the timer. I'll make sure to fix it on the next round. I didn't put enough rounds. And here we go. So she's holding those dumbbells, going alternating. I'm doing head kettlebell swings. So if you watch, you'll see, pressing my hips back. My spine stays neutral, just like when we're doing the rows, pushing through the glutes, letting the weight naturally just go. I'm not trying to pull that weight up, keeping my elbows nice and relaxed. This one's 30 more seconds, so at a minute of this, the pace on this is going to get you on the heart rate. I'm just taking a couple seconds. Yeah. Right. You can turn this into alternating curl to overhead presses. It'll give you a little bit of rest at the bottom. Like this. Yep. Yep, just like that. Almost there. One of the main issues I see is people squatting their kettlebell swings. Notice my knees are soft, but I'm not squatting. I'm just letting the hips swing back. There you go. You're on to Russian twists. Yeah, this overhead press is definitely gonna have to become right around that 30 second mark. Go ahead and turn it into overhead, curl to overhead press. So I'm gonna start with my alternating. Notice elbow positioning out to the side, but I'm not too far up front. I'm also not fully on the side, tucked. Kind of like those floor presses. I'm at about 45 degrees. Notice how that he's externally rotating. Oh, are you not? No. Oh, see, I went from a neutral grip. To, yeah. You want to try that real quick? I know how it goes here. Yeah, if you want to do that, that's what got my shoulders. Seconds. A bit more fatigued. Our cats are staring at each other. It's really cute. Almost there. Come on, give it all you got. Five seconds left. Make sure unless you keep that abs tight so we don't end up bending over too far Whew. and hyperextending. There's so much of my hair on the ground already. <laughs> all right, let's get ready. You have kettlebell swings. Yep. You want to do those right over here? Right here. Oh, go over here. This way. All right. Russian twist. I'm just going to sit back. Feet can be off the floor or touching. And it's going into a nice rotation. Noticing I'm staying lean back, not rounding forward. I want to keep that lean back. It's going to activate the full abdominal wall. Legs off the floor are going to help you get the lower abdominal wall as you have to tighten up your quads while doing the movement to keep that, maintain that balance and counterbalance from the upper body. I did not start my workout on my watch. Oh no, we're almost halfway done. Good job everybody, keep it up. You can go faster than that, Kyle. Oh, she was right. I didn't think I could. And relax. So going back to that first movement. Where you want to be? I'll be over here. Go back to my original Hi, place. You guys can go and see right, here we go. on the Willow Glenn page too, on his gym's page. If you're already on Alyssa's, that's fine. Just make sure you go and follow the gym. If you're in the area, once we're open, it's going to be very cool. The insides look great. The environment's going to be great. We have a lot of members that are going to crush it. I'm excited to meet everybody. I think everyone's going to be really Camping at the bit. Uh, you learned. For it to open. Almost there. Notice that I turned this into a curl and press. 
A little extra on the biceps. Last five. Good job, keep it up. Three, two, and good. Okay. Hopefully there's some water near you. Uh, hi guys. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to turn mine into a curl press as well. We're going to get a minute break after this round. Something that I try and do with my Russian twist is bring my opposite elbow completely across. So you can just go like this, which is fine, but I like to bring my whole elbow which causes you have to stabilize more, more of an oblique twist. Woo. See, it's already getting hard. Keep it up, almost there. Last five, three, two, and one. Last exercise before we get our minute break. At which point I'm just gonna let the timer run green for the 60 seconds. And then I'll get the timer set up for the second series. Same movements, it's just gonna change to 40-20, so those working sets. Can we just do one set through of that? That's fine, but no. Again, if you need to, feet can be further out in front of you. The angle of it is only as important as how much you can keep that spine nice and neutral. A rounded abdominal wall with twisting, it's working a lot more of that low lumbar region. Just make sure you're able to keep it neutral. Even if it's way up here, just over turn. Get that nice rotation leading with the elbows. If you want to do this weighted, you're welcome to. I am not. I'm just sliding my feet along the floor. I don't even have my feet off the floor right now. It's totally okay. If you want to, you can pick them up. The rotation is probably going to limit itself a little bit, but you're definitely going to get more work in the core. But on a 60 second set, that's going to be tough and good. So I'm going to give us that minute and 20. We're going to go through this rest period here, and then that next 60 seconds, we're going to rest, and then we're going to change that time to 40 20. How's everyone doing? What do we got? Five people sticking with us. What do we got? Five people sticking with us. There we go, all evened out. So we're just resting still. We're gonna take this time, catch your breath. We're gonna be going through that same cycle. This time, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. Just one time through. Then we're gonna stretch at the end as well. We just shared a cup. Mm-hmm. Coronavirus. Okay, so we're gonna go back through um, kettlebell. Just each movement. Now it's just pretty much gonna be a full series through nine exercises. So we'll just kettlebell. Well, no, we'll have to cycle through, but yeah. No, we'll go through nine. You'll just finish with station one. I'll finish with station nine. Yeah, kettlebell double, goblet squat first. Yep. Um, and then dumbbell this. floor presses, and then I'm alternate hand. The timer. Hooray! Send us some hearts if you're. Excited to see us continue to get our asses kissed. So, best. coming up here soon, F45, we're going to actually be hosting live workouts. It's going to be done at the studio, um, and those ones are going to be through. You guys will find out more information as we get closer. It's going to be within the next week or so. Um, but those ones are going to be following the F45 workout of the day that they're actually doing as a whole. Like every studio across the world is doing them. It makes that community feel a little bit bigger, a little bit more inclusive. All right, you ready? So again, we're going back to that first one. You're going to be starting on dumbbell floor presses. Yep. I'm starting with kettlebell swings, but again, we're going through all nine straight in a row. So she's going to finish with station one when she wraps around. I'm going to be finishing at station nine. Wait, all right? Oh, wait, wait, wait. We're going all, we're going all, all the way through. through. It's only one lap. Okay, so instead of doing the pods, now we're going to do all yep, nine Yep, all the way through all nine exercises. 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. 
Let me All increase. Right. It's it's 18 total rounds. No, it's not. Nine total rounds. Nine total rounds. And three. Here we go. Two. Sure sign, no. One. And yep. here we go. Oh, uh, oh, I don't have room. All right, I'm just gonna be close to it. She forgot the place on this one. Here, you can be. No, you're good. You're good. I don't think you realize the foot and a half your hair is still taking up. <laughs> she has a lot of hair on the top of her head. So you're gonna notice these sets are gonna feel a lot quicker. We're already at 10 seconds. So if you have the energy, push it out on this one. Really get that intensity up. Now that we know it's just nine sets. And good. Here you go. So I'm moving on to floor press. She's going to opposite hand to foot reaches. Let's go, let's chase and on guys. Here we Send go. us some hearts. Here we go. Send us some hearts. Give us some love. Hi kitten. Come here. And then a new at home workout, not like this one but one of the ones that I've been posting to the YouTube channel, that'll be up right around 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. So just go to the YouTube channel and follow along. Good job, we're almost there. Yeah, Last guys. 10. Oh, we've got the whole cat crew here. We'd love to know from you if you've been using the at-home workouts, and remember that Kyle has an entire, like, multi- Yeah, there's an entire downloadable PDF program, four weeks. All you need is body weight and a band. So many scratches all at the end of this already. Yeah, new couch that we got strictly so the cats wouldn't scratch it. But, you know. All right, I'm doing bent over row. And I'm doing opposite foot. See, look at how long her hair is. It almost looks like it's crushing me. Ah. I'm gonna blame that bad joke I just said on oh my fatigue. God. It's so funny. I can see your 24 on the mat below. Oh yeah? Because of the sweat. My 24 for my shirt. And by that I mean my 45? No. Oh yeah, 45. <laughs> it looks like 24. From here. Uh, good job. So if you're following along with me, I'm already through that first series. So again, just stick with one of us. I'm going to kettlebell bend over rows. She's moving on to dumbbell hip thrusts. This time I'm going 20 seconds on each side. Splitting that time in half. That's what I did too. Again, keeping that nice tight core. Pulling up into that pocket towards the hip. Halfway there, switched arms. Three, two, one. Good job. Swings. Ooh. Thanks for 
join me in. <sighs> okay. Alright. Which side you want to be on? I'll go on that. Right over here. Here we go. Planks or kettlebell swings. You can always turn this more dynamic, go into the dropping hips. I'm just going to hold it here. I feel plenty good. Cats are being very talkative today, just not to the camera. Hi, Rumi. Rumi? Good yeah. job, everybody. Keep it up. We got 10 seconds if I could read time backwards. Yep, and great job. Which means I'm on to the kettlebell swings. Kettlebell swings are my favorite. I'm a huge kettlebell fan. Lots of fun stuff you can do with these. If you're able to, you're not gonna be able to buy too many things right now, a lot of at-home workout stuff, but on your own time, if you have you know, the ability to invest in at-home weight equipment, kettlebell's where it's at. some stretch today. Okay. She's got more of a yoga background than I do. Almost there. And good. That whole time I only did overhead press. Get a sip of water. I'll do Russian twist. Mm-hmm. All my hair's coming out. All right, let's get ready. Here we go. Woo. Notice I'm keeping my hips back. I'm not letting myself go into hyperextension. Notice my pace is slowed down. Very normal. That gets me. Taking this weight directly overhead. I don't want to punch it away. I'm not punching it out in front of me. Punch it straight up. That shoulder should almost feel like you're holding a phone in between your ear and your shoulder. Last one. Last movement. Good job, everyone. We're almost there. Why don't I have to do the kettlebell squats last? Yeah. You can go right here. You got the whole center. I'll sit on this. And here we go. Ooh, up close and personal. You turn this into punches. Rumi, don't knock that over. It's the last exercise. Hey, Rumi. We got a cat right behind the camera. Being a curious George. Halfway there. Great job, everybody. Rumi. Come here, Rumi. Rumi, come here. And crisis averted. Almost there, last five. Three, two, and... Woo! Let's go ahead and rest it. Good job, everybody. Catch your breath, get some water. We'll get ourselves some space. All right. Um, There's only one now. Yeah. Kyle wrote this workout. This is from... Uh, this is what he's, are you going to post this tomorrow? Uh, this one is, yeah, I'm probably going to post it tomorrow. Um, I'm going to also post a non, I'm going to post a non weight one for tomorrow as well. Just because I want to make sure if you don't have weights. So this is what we just and did. And this one seems a little off to you. There's going to be another option, but that one will be up later in the mid morning. This one I'll have up. It'll be saved right after this. So it can be done anytime between now and tomorrow. Yeah if you weren't able to do it now. All right, so. Do you want to go through a little stretch? All right. I'm going to be in the background, attempting to be flexible. I'm going to take my shoes off. So shake it out, let's shake it out. Let's go through 
a little bit of a stretch, let's take our shoes off, and maybe your feet smell, I don't know. All right. Whew. All right. We're gonna stand at the top of our mats, Tadasana. We're gonna take mountain pose. So we're gonna turn our palms outwards towards the front. And I want you to take some really big, deep breaths all the way in, all the way up to the top of your chest. Alrighty. So we can take a big stretch upwards. All right, we're gonna go into slide back bend. And we're gonna whoop, swan dive it down. All right, so you can't really see because my hair's in the way. I'm gonna put my hair up. Um, so as much as we can touch our toes, great, but it's maybe easier and better for you if you took a slight bend in the knee, right? Oh my gosh, look at my bun. Look at my bun. Look at that pineapple. Look at my pineapple bun. I am dying. All right, I'm gonna lean us down like this. Um, so it might be better, right, if we just took a slight bend in the knee, but otherwise, come straight down the palms. Take a deep breath in, come to half raise like this. You can put your hands on your shins. We're gonna exhale. All right, let's take it down to hands and knees. All right, I'm gonna turn this way so y'all can see. So we're gonna have our palms outstretch all 10 fingers. All right, here, let me put this over here, maybe a little better. All right, palms outstretched, all 10 fingers. All right, I'm gonna stretch them out. We're gonna have our toes, you can untuck them. And we're gonna do a nice cat cow. So. We are going to breathe in and we're going to take our chin to chest and we're going to try and tuck our pelvis in. So we're going to take a nice breath up. And we're going to look up and we're going to pull the shoulder blades together. We're going to do that three more times. Chin to chest, tuck that pelvis. Pull your shoulder blades back. Good. Great, 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 great. All right. So now from this position, I want you to take your back feet, right? And I want you to touch your toes. So you're going to touch your big toes together. All right. You're going to widen your legs just a little bit, right? So that your toes are touching. All right. What I want you to do is take your hand, your right hand, out to the outside of your mat so that only your pointer finger and your thumb are on the mat like this, right? And what I want you, you to do... You don't have a mat, you're going just outside of shoulder width. Sure, 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 just outside of shoulder width. You're going to keep your toes, your big toes touching. And then what I'm going to ask you to do is lean, put all of your weight into that right arm, all right? But I want you to make sure that your ear is away from your shoulder. And you're going to put your hand up into the air. You're going to stretch out, open up that chest. Make sure that you're not sinking into this shoulder, right? That you're really sitting up on that shoulder. Ears away from that shoulder. One more breath here. All right. What we're going to do, wait, stay back there. We're going to take this arm and we are going to tuck it underneath. We're going to put it down. And we're going to put our left ear to the mat. We're going to keep our toes touching. Keep those toes touching. Now feel around here. You can maybe dig into that left hip a little bit. But I really want you to dig into that left shoulder. Stretch it out. Good. All right, let's come back up. We're going to do the exact same thing, but on the other side, keep our toes touching. We're going to put our left hand now out to the edge, just our pointer finger and thumb touching the mat or outside of shoulder width. You're gonna put all of your weight into that arm and you're gonna lift this arm straight up into the sky, open up that chest. 
Make sure that you're not sinking into this shoulder, that you're up on that shoulder, and your ears away from that shoulder. And we're gonna tuck under, same thing. And we're gonna put our right ear to the mat. Again, maybe dig into that right hip just a little bit. Really dig into that right shoulder. Excellent. All right, let's get back up. So let's bring our feet back into a plank position. All right? And when you're ready, you can sit right back into downward dog. Let's try and spread our back feet if we can. Let's put our heels down to the ground. If you find that you can't get your heels down to the ground, maybe move your feet up a little bit, right? But what we're gonna try and do is really make sure that these shoulder, or that these rit, or these, I can't even speak. I'll learn to speak someday. That these elbows are internally rotated in the sense that we're not, you know, we wanna make sure that those arms are straight. So we're trying to internally rotate, try and bring our, or, um, our, Arm, what am I talking about? Our elbow pits. What are these called? The elbow pits? The insides of our elbows? We're gonna try and make sure that they're touching our ears. She's a much better yogi than me. These poses are very hard. For a, for a, a tight shoulder individual. All right, when you're ready, you can look up between your hands. You can walk straight up. All right. Take a half lift, breathe in. Straight back down. Now you're gonna slowly, slowly come up. Every vertebra, every vertebra. Vertebra, huh? Yep, vertebrae. Your head is the last thing that should raise. All right, now we're gonna just do a little bit of hip and then we'll be done. So what I want you to yes, do. we're just gonna take those hips. <laughs> All right, what I want you to do is take your right foot, you're gonna bring your left foot to the middle. I'm gonna put your phone back. Okay. Because they're just, all the foot fans out there. Yeah. They're seeing my feet. Seeing the feet. Thanks babe, for protecting my feet. Well now they can just see my junk, so. All right, so now what we're gonna do, let me bring you right here. All right, we're gonna go to the center of our mat, we're gonna take our right foot, we're gonna cross it over our left foot like this, Oh, good for you. I can't. You can't really bring tell. it all the way? Nope. Really? Yeah. All the way around? I'd love to say it's because of my big legs, but I think it's just hip tightness. All right, now shake it out. We're going to try that the other way. Left foot goes all the way around. Is that better for you, babe? Uh, a little bit on this side. Still can't quite get the foot behind the, the calf. In all of these poses, you want to make sure posture, we're still keeping that core relaxed, but we're making sure we're still staying tall, neutral spine. All right, shake it up. So what I'm going to ask us to do now might be a little bit difficult for you. If you can cross this leg, what I want us to do is with this leg crossed, we're going to put this back leg here. So if you've crossed over your right leg, you're going to put the back leg, you're going to put your hands down. This back leg is going to go to its knee so that this leg is still crossing over. Do you see that? Yep. Okay. And now we're going to sit back so that this yep. is still crossing this. Okay. So it should look like this. Cool. Yep. So what we're going to do is we're going to take, if the right leg is up, you're going to take your left arm. You're going to reach up and you're gonna reach over, you're gonna bring your elbow. Your back arm should be behind you, and you're gonna lean into that and look behind you. Come back forward, keep it in that position. Now take a deep breath in and push a little bit further. Excellent. Alrighty, we're gonna release this leg. 
We're gonna bring it out, bring it out. I'm gonna slide you guys down a little bit. All right. Oh, you're gonna need to rotate it. Oh no. Sorry guys. Okay. Now we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna tuck this leg in first, right? Our right leg, we're gonna tuck it in, bring it back. We're gonna bring this leg up and over. We're gonna take this arm now, because if our left leg is up, we're gonna take our right arm. We're gonna reach up, we're gonna reach over, and we're gonna dig. Awesome. Come back forward a little bit, release. Take a deep breath in and push a little bit more. Only what's doable for you. It's okay. If this is too much, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Excellent. We're gonna shake both legs out. Okay. Last thing. Now, this might be a little much. Might dirty, be a little much. Dirty feet. Yeah, dirty feet. This might be a little bit much, all right? What we're gonna do is we're gonna come up into a pigeon pose. And so the way that that goes is, if you can imagine if you can tuck this leg in, right? What we're gonna do instead is we're gonna just take this leg and it's gonna go behind us instead of in front of us. So the way that we do that is that we keep this leg here. If we can, we bring this leg back, right? If that's enough for you, that's fine. Right? If it's enough to just get there, that might be a lot. Right? The idea is that you'd like to have both of your sit bones down on the ground. Kyle right now can't get there. Right? So it looks like it might be okay for him, especially if you're flexing these front toes. If this is okay for you and you want to try a little bit more, we're going to keep this leg here. This leg is going to go behind us instead. <laughs> the noise that just came out of me. Is that a little too much for you? Uh, on the hardwood floor. Okay. It's not, it's not so much that I can't do it, it's that this hardwood floor does not feel good on my bones. Okay, I hear you. So I'm just gonna hold it in the slightly less intense version of this, which my knees are both 90 degrees and I could just sit up like this and then I hinge myself forward just a little bit. Yep. It's gonna apply a little bit more tension. So if this is good for you, this is great. You can also come down. Or maybe if you can't come all the way down, maybe just try and get an arm down. Looks like we're ending. All right. Oh, does he give us a timer? Yep, two minutes. Two minutes left, everybody. So we're gonna finish off with this other side. Just the other side. On the pigeon right. pose. And then so we're imagine call it. legs are straight out like this. Then right. max you at an hour. Yeah, max you at an Good hour. Good to know. All right. This leg, right? If it's enough, it's just gonna go here. It's great. Okay. Bring it forward so you can see Kyle as well. You can see Kyle back there kissing our kitten. All right, if not, or if, if that's not enough for you, you can keep that leg there and you can come into pigeon. All right, for me, this side is much tighter. All right, again, this could be enough for you. Or you might want to come down. Here. You just hang out in this. I'm going to talk for a second. Just want to, we're ending in 55 seconds. Just want to say one great job to everybody that stuck around and worked out. Um, again, this is going to be saved on the Instagram. It'll be down in the feed that shows what stories you're saved. Um, I'm going to be doing this one. It's not going to be happening daily yet. I'm going to be posting the normal YouTube videos at first. Um, once we start the live version of um, F45 Live, we'll let you guys know more details. Hello, um, through the story and through a post, and we'll let everybody know how to um, get onto that while also still having access to these at-home videos I'm making. So don't worry, we'll have everything for everybody. And uh, yeah, again, stay safe, wash your hands, take care of yourself. Hopefully you're not going too stir crazy, just make sure you're still keeping active. Last thing we wanna do is sit on the couch for the next you know, several weeks. So great job everybody, logging off over here at the Meraki House. We'll see you guys later.